Hi kids! Today we are going to draw something that starts with the letter Y. So it's Yippee the Yellow Yak. So let's go ahead and get started. And there is Yippee. We are going to draw him today. So leave some room between or leave some room above the head because today we are going to be drawing above the head. So make sure you leave the room. So here's our title. So we're going to move and draw an oval for the head. And then we're going to draw the ears. And guys, the ears are going to come down on the side a little bit. Make sure not to put them on the top. But we're going to draw them like almost an oval, but a teardrop. So we start here, zoop, scoop around and come back. And we're going to do that on the other side too. Start here on this kind of the side. Make sure it's not quite on the top. Come around and doop. There we go. And then let's go ahead and do those horns. So guys, we're going to start with the right horn first. Put your pencil at the top. If this is the middle right here, scoot it um, just over to the right a little bit and we're going to go up and out. It almost just has a little bend to it. Out and then under. So almost like this is a sad face and then a happy face. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one on the other side. We're going to do sad, which is bent down like a sad face and then a happy face. It looks kind of funny. It looks like he has strings coming out of his head. So we need to draw the other side so it makes it into a shape. Same thing, sad face and then happy face. That's like a sad line so it's bent down, kind of like this, down, and then this one's bent up like this. So I'm to erase that from my, my papers. I just wanted to show that to you. And then here, same thing, we're going to draw the other side, so we go sad type bend, and then happy type bend. And there we have our horns. Now, um, Yippie's horns look like they're out farther, like they're flatter, but it's fine. However you do it is good. Okay, let's finish up the face then. We're going to do a scallop line, like three curls, one, two, three. That's that little tuft of hair at the top of his head. I think it's a yippee as a boy, I'm not sure. Okay, and then we're gonna do ovals for the eyes and those ovals are almost touching. Let's put circles in those ovals looking up. Remember, if you need to pause it, just pause the video. And then we're going to do eyebrows. And these eyebrows are actually just, if you look at the picture here, they're just a little line. And guys, I'm always looking at this picture when I'm drawing. So if you're not sure what we're going, or if you're not sure, always you can look at the picture as well. And then I'm going to draw two nostrils nose holes. Okay, and this this is going to be like a W shape. So, so it starts down and then goes up a little bit and then up. It's like a W shape. And then let's do the cheek lines on the end of the um, mouth. So a W shape and then the lines on the end of the mouth. Okay, we are going to draw the body. Starting up in the middle up here, we're going to go out, zigzag line. Zigzag line. And then going the other way, zigzag line. And then we're going to do 
these zigzag lines coming down on the side. Doesn't matter which one you start, but let's go ahead and start over here. See how this time the the zigzags point down? We're going to do that. So if I were going to draw through this horn, I would start here. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Four or five zigzag lines. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Take my pencil. Like pretend you're drawing through the horn and then start. So it looks like it's attached. Zigzag lines pointed down. And zigzag lines going across. Two lines for one leg, two lines for the other leg, and then for the hoof, a half circle. So it's a hump and a line. Hump and a line. And that's it, guys. We drew Yippee the yellow yak. And since Yippee is yellow, because he's the yellow yak, that's the color we're going to draw him. So let's start by outlining. We're going to draw all of his body. We're going to color yellow. So let's begin by outlining everything on his body in yellow. But his face, we're going to do brown. His face is a little darker than his body. Now, if you have a golden color, you could do like a yellow golden color. But I'm just going to do yellow. Regular old yellow. Remember to color inside the lines. This is good practice. Make things look nice. That's the kind of drawing this is, or kind of coloring this is. Coloring inside the lines. Now guys, when you're coloring, please take your time. Do not try to rush it. I know some kids don't enjoy coloring, and so they just want to get it over with. But know that this is really helping your hand-eye coordination, which is good for reading. It's good for playing games. It's good for playing board games and video games. It is. Coloring is good for all of that because it makes your eye and your hand work together. So just make sure that you are taking your time. And if you can't color as fast as I can, that is okay. Just take your time. There we go. I'm done coloring with my yellow. So now I'm going to go on to brown. Okay. And I'm going to outline the horns. In brown. Ooh, just realized something. You know, this little fluffy part on the top of his head should probably be yellow. I'm going to go over his head and his ears. And the eyes. And then we're also going to do the legs. Brown. We're going to go ahead and do those hoofs, though, black. So we can color those black. Okay. And then you can even draw color. Um, if you don't press as hard with your crayon, you can do like a light brown on those horns. And then that little tuft of hair, let's do yellow. Hey guys, that's it. And then the last thing we need to do, outline with black crayon. Again, this is so good for playing games, for sports. Yep, coloring and tracing are good for all of that because it develops your hand eye coordination.
so that your hand and your eyes are working together. Choose from face. Do all the zigzag lines. This also make finishes it when we outline it. In crayon. Okay, guys. My Yippee the Yellow Yak is done. Is yours? I hope so. See you next time.